Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 68 of C Sharp tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss making method parameters optional using method overloading. Please watch part 67 of this video series before proceeding. In part 67, we discussed using parameter arrays as an option to make method parameters optional. In this video, we'll discuss using method overloading as another alternative to make method parameters optional. We'll be using the same example that we started in part 67, that's a function to add two or more numbers. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So if you look at you know this class program, I have this function add numbers. Look at the parameter list here. At the moment, I have got three parameters. The first two parameters are of type integer. So these parameters are going to contain the numbers, the first two numbers that the end user want to add. And the third parameter is of type integer array. So if the end user wants to add more than three numbers, then all those numbers are going to be part of this integer array. Okay, and look at the implementation itself, which is very straightforward. We have here a variable of type integer, which is going to hold the sum of the first and second numbers that we are going to pass in. And then if the end user has passed in more than two numbers, they are going to come into this array. So what we are doing here, we are checking, okay, if rest of numbers is not equal to null, then we know for sure the end user has passed something uh, into this parameter. Okay, so in which case we loop through each number within that array and then we add that to our result variable. Finally, we print that out. Okay, so now at the moment if I invoke this function, look at this, when I say add numbers, then I have to supply arguments for the three parameters. Okay, look at this, if I just specify the first two parameters, first and second number, uh, you know, the moment I do that, look at that, I already got a red squiggly there. And look at the error message, what does it say? No overload for method add numbers takes two arguments. So we don't have overloaded version of add numbers which, is, which takes just two numbers. I only have one version of add numbers and it takes three parameters. Okay, so obviously, um, you know, if I want to add just two numbers, you know, I pass the first and second number. For the third parameter, I can simply pass null. You know, that's fine. This this is going to work as expected. But, you know, I really here, the third parameter is not optional. You're passing a value of null. Now, let's say, for example, I want to provide the end user with a method. Let's say, for example, if the end user wants to add just two numbers, then I want him to supply values only for the first and second parameter. Okay, so how do we do that? We can make use of, you know, method overloading as an other alternative. So I'm going to copy the signature of this function that's already there. And let's paste it there. And then what I'm going to do, so this is the overloaded version which is going to allow the end user to add, you know, just two numbers, first number and second number. So I'm going to get rid of this third parameter from there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the function like this. So copy it, paste there. So for the first number, I'm going to pass whatever is going to come into this function as a parameter. And second number is going to be that one. And for the third parameter, I'm simply passing now. Okay, so now when I actually try to, try to use this function, look at this, the moment I open parentheses, look at that, it says I have two overloaded versions of this add number, the one which takes two parameters and the other one which takes three parameters. So if the end user wants to add just two numbers, I can do so 10 and 20. And then I close the parenthesis. Look at this, now I'm not passing now. I'm just specifying the two parameters, the arguments for the first two parameters. So I'm using this overloaded version. So obviously if I run this, you know, you know the output, which is 30. On the other hand, if the end user wants to add maybe four numbers, then I'm going to use the overloaded version, which takes three parameters. And the third parameter here is an integer array. So I can create an integer array, new integer. And then let's say I want to add 30 and 40. I just pass it like that, run that, and you should see the output of those three numbers, I mean, four numbers, okay. In our next video, we'll discuss making method parameters optional by specifying parameter defaults. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C-Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.